this is video six in my what is it like for me to be a college student series so yeah so this video is about what's it like to be a linguistics major what are linguistics majors what do you learn what do you do with this degree is it worth it is it not worth it are you gonna get a job afterwards how much is that job gonna pay you afterwards so this video is gonna try to answer all of those questions because i know that i had a lot of them when i was trying to decide on what i was gonna major in question number one what is linguistics basically linguistics is the study of human language so like not human languages, human language, which means we take language as its entirety and we study it. We study it from a bunch of different lenses. So you study it from like the acquisition lens, how do people learn languages as their first language when they're a baby, and then as their second languages as they grow older and older. The cognitive side, so like what's going on in your brain. The social side, how does the power that one accent or language has have um, like influence society and how do people use power structures and language together. You know, there's a lot to learn. For example, another question you might try to answer, why is African American English so stigmatized in the United States? Um, and what are the effects of that stigmatization? What about phonology and phonetics? So that's like the sounds of language. Why don't we say, for example, what don't you want? And instead we might say, what don't you want? You know, why does that ch sound suddenly get inserted there? Here's what linguistics is not. It is not learning a bunch of languages. Okay, so there's a catch to this, which is that a lot of linguistics majors are really interested in learning a bunch of languages. I definitely am included in that. Um, and so a lot of linguistics majors do study languages, like a variety of languages throughout the time that they're in college. All right, so. The question everyone wants to know, am I gonna get a job if I become a linguistics major? And what type of job will it be? Because ultimately, you know, college is great for learning and expanding your mind, but also, <laughs> let's be real, we're all here so that we can have a job in the future. So, or if that's not why you're here, it's why your parents want you to go to college. So it's for your future. <laughs> um, the short answer is linguistics is really one of the liberal arts majors that is the most vocational because there really are a lot of pretty specific and clear career paths that you can take with a linguistics major and that a lot of people actually really do end up taking. And it's one of the things that I think is really nice about linguistics because it really does lead you into certain jobs. So some of those jobs, the very clear ones are language teaching. Um, for example, being an ESL teacher, so English as a second language, or being a foreign language teacher. I know people who are the year above me who are doing both of those things with linguistics majors, and I think that they're really enjoying it. Um, so that's really good. Um, speech pathology is also another one, so speech language pathology and also audiology. Um, and so if you don't know what that is, that's um, helping often either children with speech impediments or with some sort of mental um, disability um, learn to speak or learn to communicate. Um, and it's also helping adult patients often with similar disabilities or people who say have had a stroke or something like that um, learn to speak or learn to speak again. And so speech pathologists usually work in various healthcare facilities or in schools. Um, and to have that job, you do need a graduate degree, but a lot of the time those graduate degrees are financed by wherever you're gonna work afterwards, for example, a school system. So what you do need is the prerequisite courses to get into the master's degree and linguistics a lot of the time includes all of those prereqs or um, almost all of them. So yeah, it's a really great job and one that I have definitely been interested in, although that's not what I'm doing right after college, something that I still consider doing sometimes. Um, other things that are pretty common that people do, you can work in natural language processing and sort of various uh, computer science things. So um, for example, linguists have to work on programs like Siri and Amazon Alexa and Google Home, things like that. Um, Google search engines to help you query um, various things like that. Um, and so there's a lot of work actually within the tech space for linguistics majors and you know some of these very prestigious internships i have friends in my linguistics program who have gotten say interviews for 
places like um, like Google or Amazon. Um, yeah, I just think that's like a really great opportunity and obviously one of the more lucrative things that you can do with linguistics. Um, other options, um, the foreign service, so working as a diplomat, I actually got um, two, over the course of my college career, I had the opportunity to do two um, internships with two different US embassies in um, Panama and in Croatia. Unfortunately, I didn't end up actually doing them because COVID canceled them and they would have been abroad, um, which is very sad, but um, yeah, so I, with my linguistics major, I was able to get that opportunity, even though it never ended up happening. Um, and there's a variety of other things that you can do with a linguistics major as well. Um, obviously, academia is a popular one. A lot of people decide to go on to grad school um, and get like PhDs in um, a foreign language or um, in linguistics itself or Spanish linguistics or, you know, Japanese linguistics or something like that. Um, and so obviously linguistics feeds well into that. And finally, then there's the fact that you don't have to actually do for your job what you major in. So me, personally, I am not gonna be working in linguistics after I graduate. I got a job in finance and I was able to do that honestly by leveraging my linguistics education. I was able to say, look, I have taken classes in say big data or things like that and I'm smart, I can like do all of this and the truth is a lot of places do not care what you major in. So even though linguistics is obviously not related to finance, uh, it didn't end up actually mattering and I got a really great job that I'm super excited about um, while being a linguistics major. I'm not a double major um, in anything else so it is my linguistics major that I think is the crux of my college experience. Um, yeah, if you major in linguistics, you will get a job. You'll have to work for it, but the truth is everyone has to work for it. S business majors also have to work for their jobs. So I would say that like being afraid of not getting a good job after you graduate is absolutely not a reason to not major in linguistics. Like you can get very excellent jobs working in linguistics and frankly, like jobs that pay very well as well. Okay, and then another question, how hard is linguistics? How hard is linguistics? Um, in my opinion, like medium hard, not that hard to be honest. So um, my minor is in economics and economics is much harder than linguistics. Like I'm just gonna be honest. Um, linguistics classes in general, at least at my school, it might be different at other places, um, but they tend to have do be a lot of problem solving and a lot of writing. So just sort of like a combination of your classic college student type thing. Um, it's not the sort of class where, sort of major where you're just gonna be writing essays nonstop like you're an English major or something, but it's also not the sort of thing where you're gonna be only solving problems. A lot of the problems that you'll be solving are things like sorting out the structure of some sentence in a language in like say a syntactic tree or um, various like logic based forms. Um, in general, like it's like medium hard. I don't know, it's not too bad. I, I wouldn't say it's like, you know, let's like, let's be honest here. <laughs> it's not chemistry, you know? Like you won't be working as hard as your pre-med other friends or whatever. <laughs> it's just how it goes. It's not a bad thing though. Like honestly, like personally, my grades are pretty good and they would probably be good if I was majoring in something else. Like I work hard, but like, I haven't had to work as hard as I might <laughs> if I was a different type of major, let's be real. So what are the drawbacks then of majoring in linguistics? Basically, I think the main one is that people don't always know what it is. Um, I get a lot of questions like, what is linguistics? Like they know it has to do with languages because the word is linguistics, but a lot of people don't know what it is. So if you major in linguistics, you will end up explaining your major to people. But that's okay because you can just explain it to people and I really haven't found that it has hurt me much to have people not know that. Other than that, I wouldn't say there are super clear drawbacks. I think some people think that it's sort of one of these like nothing majors like communications or something. Not to say that communications is a nothing major, but people think that it is, you know. Um, so you might have to overcome that a little bit, but honestly, I think that people don't even know what linguistics is, so they probably are just gonna think that you speak 10 different languages fluently, which you probably won't. 
I do not. Um, but if they think that, fine, whatever, who cares? You can correct them if you have to, <laughs> like, it does not really matter that much. <laughs> so what classes do you actually take when you're a linguistics major? Um, I have my transcript up here. I'm just gonna tell you which ones I've taken over the course of my major. The linguistics classes I've taken are um, basically as follows. So my first semester, I took uh, Introduction to Linguistics, so we, that was sort of just like a, let's go over a bunch of subdisciplines of linguistics and learn about them. It was a fantastic class, I really loved it. That was what got me into linguistics. The following semester, I took a class called Languages of the World, where we explored what different languages all around the world were are like. So what are the structures of languages in Siberia? What makes French different than Haitian Creole, which is based off like a Creole that uh, is based off of French, but also other languages. Questions like that we explored in great detail and it was very interesting. And that semester I also took an anthropology, like a linguistic anthropology class where we um, read things about linguistics and languages from the perspective of anthropologists. So we explored a lot of things in the United States like uh, indigenous American languages and uh, for example, Spanglish and things like that. Um, the following semester I took a class called History of American Languages, which is um, sort of another, like a sociologic, sociolinguistic um, class that uh, explores various things like uh, Native American languages and also things like African American English as spoken in the United States and, um, you know, Yiddish and German and things like that. Uh, the su Southern accents, things like that um, in the United States. Really interesting. And that semester I also took a class called Phonetics, the Sounds of Spanish. And so we explored basically the whole sound system of Spanish. Really fascinating. That class was also taught in Spanish, so that was nice. Um, the next semester I took a class called Big and Small Data and Visualization, which is a class that was cross-listed between linguistics and um, the like quantitative sciences, so basically the statistics department. And we basically learned how to do big data things like big data analysis um, using programming um, through, uh, by like analyzing very large corpuses of data, um, like a newspaper articles and other things with language. Um, and so that was really interesting and definitely very helpful when it came to like trying to get a job down the line. I always put that class high up on my resume as like related coursework because a lot of the things I'm interested in are very data driven um, and big data is related to practically every field nowadays. Um, and then I also took a class called Historical Linguistics and Language Change that semester. We basically learned about how languages change, especially when they're in contact with each other or in isolation or things like that. Um, and then I also took a class called The Structure of Human Language, which is morphology and syntax. So basically how words and sentences are constructed in a more theoretical way. The following semester, I took a class called Language, Gender, and Sexuality, which was super interesting. And it sort of explored how, you know, questions like do women and men speak differently? What about in different cultures? Things like that. Um, and also questions about um, gender in general. Um, and then, also, I took a class called Negation in Human Language, and that class was all about how we negate things. So how do we say, I don't want to do that, for example, in various languages. Really great class. I loved that class. Um, finally, the next semester, I took a class called Psycholinguistics, which is basically psychology and linguistics together. And that was a really great class as well. Loved that. It was, um, we explored things like language acquisition and um, language loss, uh, how children versus adults interact with language, and really great. And then I took also a class called Language, Mind, and Society, which was my senior seminar, and we explored sort of big questions about linguistics, like where did language actually come from, why do humans have language, what makes humans different with language than animals. Another class that I really appreciate taking later on in my career as a linguistics student because I feel like I got a lot more out of it learning it as a senior. And then finally this semester I'm taking a class called um, Language Hybridity and Change and I think that's what it's called, Language Contact and Change or something like that. Uh, and that's also a Spanish class so um, I'm learning we're learning basically how Spanish has interacted with other languages and how that has affected the Spanish of various areas around the world. 
So in conclusion, um, yeah, that's what you learn when you're a linguistics major. I think it's a really, like, really awesome major. I would highly recommend it to anyone who thinks that they might be interested. Go take a class when you get to college or if you're already in college. Take an intro level class. I think, you know, it's a rabbit hole to explore. Language is literally everywhere around us and when you start to study it in an academic setting, you start to notice things that you just never would have noticed otherwise. Um, I've had a fantastic time and I hope you do too.